I'm going to talk about cue discrimination and teaching your dog to listen to your cue, sit, down, stand. Those are the basic ones, right? And they come up at all levels of team. Your dog needs to be able to hear what you're saying and get it right. Uh, distance is where people tend to focus because they say, well, my dog can do all these things, sit down, stand, when I'm right there with my dog. But as soon as I add three feet, five feet, 10 feet, not so much. And so what people start to do is they say, well, if my dog can do it at three feet, can my dog do it at three and a half? If my dog can do it at three and a half, can they do it at four? And uh, intuitively that makes sense, right? Because you're splitting it down into uh, smaller increments, which makes sense. But it's actually generally not the way to approach it. Uh, the reason is distance makes it harder for you to tell your dog in real time when they're right or when they're wrong. So yes, you can click and throw a cookie. It's not when they're right that you have such a problem, it's when you're wrong. Uh, so you say sit and the dog downs, and it's much harder for you to reach in and do something or reset depending on how you approach your errors. Uh, so another way to look at it is to think in terms of what is the basic issue? And the basic issue is does your dog understand the cue under a variety of circumstances? So the way to think about distance is not as a standalone thing. Can my dog sit at five feet, six feet, seven feet, eight feet? The way to think about it is, can my dog sit under adversity or down or whatever? So think in terms of adversity. Distance is just another form of adversity. So we're gonna take a quick look at that. I'm gonna see how solid Frito's understanding of sit is under a variety of circumstances. And depending on how well we do together, that will determine whether or not I think it's reasonable to add distance. Because as a general rule, distance is the last thing we want to add. So let's take a look. Want to do some work? Real dog want to do some work, huh? Real dog want to do some work? All right, Rito. Uh, sit. Okay, now oddly enough, that actually is a form of adversity because he was already sitting when I said sit. That's not obvious. Sit. He can sit when I'm kneeling. Can he sit when I do this? Up. Sit. Excellent. Up. Sit. Good boy. How about if he's next to me? Up. Sit. Good. Up. Sit. Super. How about if I'm down here? Up. Sit. Good. All right. Now, as you can tell, he knows to come to the disc and just sit, doesn't he? So let's try down, because that's gonna add a little challenge for him. You ready? I'm gonna get him. Up, down. Cookie. Up, down. Cookie, super dog. Up, down. Yes. What a star, huh? Up, down. Yes. Great, let's try stand, huh? Up. Wait. Yay, good boy. Up. Wait. Wait. Good boy. So if I do repeat it, no big deal, I just helped him. Up, I'll be ready this time. Wait. Yes. I don't click if he's wrong, but I'll always help him out. Who's oh, a good dog? Okay, so I feel pretty good about that, right? Up. Wait. Now, the one thing I haven't done is mixed them up, so let's take a look. Down. Cookie. Get all the cookies. Who's a star? Good boy. Did you get all the cookies? Up. Wait. Wait. 
eight. Excellent. So that was pretty good. I think he did a nice job. If anywhere in there, good dog, come here. If anywhere in there, he had uh, repeatedly gotten a cue wrong, like I know, I did not show it, but I know that going from a down to a stand versus sit is harder for him than some of the others. If I had seen something like that, then I just help him and pull that one out and work on that little piece. So remember, think of distance as a form of adversity. Don't think of distance as something you train in and of itself. The more forms of adversity that you help your dog overcome, the easier additional ones are going to be. That's what we call fluency. That's what we mean by fluency. But use whatever word is comfortable when you're working it in your own head. So that's it. I hope you're having a good time with the team program. I think it's a great training program. Okay, you did good, huh? You did good. Okay. You're a good boy.